Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Hopscoff and today we're going to be doing a vegan lime and courgette cake. So to start off with we need to grate two medium courgettes. Now I love this little thing that I get from Ikea, I use it to grate all my veggies and citrus fruits and it's just so easy because everything just goes straight in there and it keeps all the mess nice and contained. So you need to cut off the ends of your courgettes and then grate them finely. Now, lime and courgette cake is one of my favourite cakes, which is why I'm showing you guys how to do it. It's so perfect for breakfast or for the afternoon, um, and is definitely really, really light and zesty and just so delicious. I even love to like smother some homemade date paste on it as well sometimes. Um, it's so, so good. So the ingredients we have is obviously our courgettes. We have some flax seeds, coconut sugar, we have some olive oil, baking powder, some sorghum flour, um, three limes and two courgettes. This is going to make up the base of our lime and courgette cake. So you need to give it a bit of elbow grease to get the courgettes nice and grated. Um, and then once that, that's done, we can start incorporating all of our other ingredients. So after you finish grating the first courgette, we need to make up our flaxseed egg. Now some people don't really know what a flaxseed egg is or a chai seed egg, but it basically replaces a normal egg that you would use in, in cakes. Well, obviously being a vegan cake, we don't use eggs. And so what you need to do is mix your um, flax seeds or chai seeds or whichever you prefer to use with some water. So in here I've put three tablespoons of flax seeds. Flax seeds are really easy to find. I got this big bag from TK Maxx actually, it was on offer just because it had a little puncher in the bag, so I nabbed that and this is really good because it's a mix between flax seeds, goji berries, chai seeds, it's kind of like a magic mix of, of everything, but it really doesn't matter which type you use or which brand you use, flax seeds are widely available in Sainsbury's or Tesco's or you can even get them in Holland and Barrett or wherever really. So what you need to do is mix your flax seeds with water and this the the flax seeds will soak up the moisture of the water and then it will create this like gloopy mess so here i've put in three tablespoons of flax seed and you kind of want a ratio of one tablespoon of flax seed to about three tablespoons of water so you're just going to pop your water into the bowl give it a quick stir and then leave that to one side whilst you grate the other courgette because it does take a few minutes to like gloop up and then this will form the basis of our egg, so to speak. And then this acts as a binding agent for our other ingredients in our loaf or cake. And this can be used in a wide range of, of different cakes and stuff. Then of course the obligatory sip of tea whilst you're cooking <laughs> is of course a necessity. So now you're gonna do exactly the same to the other courgette, grate it up, and then we can move on to the other ingredients. So then you now need to zest your lime so three limes pop that into the bowl with the grated courgettes as well and now we can start adding in the rest of our ingredients now it really doesn't matter which order you put the ingredients in but it's probably easier to start with all the wet ingredients so we're just putting in about two tablespoons of olive oil into the bowl it doesn't matter which type of um, vegetable oil you want to use but I like to use olive oil um, we're now going to put in about two teaspoons of cinnamon just to give it a bit of extra extra taste again if you want to play with an experiment with the different spices then you can do you know like ginger or nutmeg might might work as well we're next going to put in some baking powder and coconut sugar so you can use any sweetener you want if you don't have coconut sugar you can use normal sugar but you want to try and make it as as natural as possible so maple syrup or some agave syrup will also do and just give that a nice big stir and then you're going to pop in your chia seed eggs as you can see it's now got nice and gloopy um, a really nice consistency that will act as a binding agent to bind all of our ingredients together so stir that in with our courgettes and limes and um, and other ingredients. I'm also just going to put in about a tablespoon or two of chai seeds as well just to soak up that extra moisture. Um, I mean I if you've seen my videos before you know I don't really like to stick to to set measurements it just depends on on how the mixture is looking or feeling but I just thought that the the chai seeds would would help soak up extra moisture. 
We're now going to put in some sorghum flour and some ground almonds. Now, what is sorghum flour? Sorghum flour is a grain. It's 100% gluten-free and it has quite a sweet taste to it and it's perfect to use in gluten-free baking and healthier versions of, of cakes, etc. So after popping in your baking powder as well, just give everything a really big stir and then pop it into your, your loaf tin. Again, have a play around with the ingredients. I put in about a cup of each of sorghum flour and ground almonds, but if your mixture's looking a bit too wet, then add some more in. And that is it. You're just going to spread out the mixture on top of the loaf. I've added some limes on just for decoration. doesn't add any taste to it at all and um, just makes it look pretty. Then I also added some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds scattered on top as well, which just gives it a really like rustic look. And that's it. You're just going to pop it in the oven now for about 50 minutes on gas mark three until it's nice and golden brown. And then it's perfectly delicious to enjoy with a cup of tea or coffee.